What's up guys, it's Gian, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 67. We got the standard dot music with the standard dot team. Let's go ahead and get into it. We are using the same sand offense team, by the way. And look at that. We immediately have a battle versus Femme. I don't know who Femme is. And Femme probably doesn't know who I am, but anyway. Um, once this battle loads up, we'll see uh, how well we match up team-wise. Um, okay, so you have immense, which is interesting. Me Mega Mets. <laughs> um, you also have an Excadrill, which I'm hoping is just Scarf Mold Breaker. Um, and honestly, looking at your team or looking at his team, as long as I T Wave the Mints uh, and uh, get rid of the Azumarill, um, I should be able to sweep him pretty clean with a plus two drill. Um, I don't know how I'm going to go about getting that, but you know, we'll find out. Uh, regardless, um, I think he'll probably lead Pharaoh, to be honest. And Keldeo is a pretty safe lead, except if he's Scarf Mag. And if he's Scarf Mag, that's just disappointing. Um, but I'm assuming he's Specs Mag, Scarf Drill. He does end up leading Pharaoh, which is nice. I'm not going to predict too early. I'm just going to go straight away for the Secret Sword, even though I probably, if I really wanted to, could double in the Thunderous here. And uh, then proceed to go for the Focus Blast versus Zoomerill. That's tempting. Uh, that's really tempting, because I don't think he's staying in right here. So I'm going to make the double to Thunderous. And I know it's not... Um, it's not usually the norm to try to predict in between turns 1 through 5, because you're kind of supposed to see how your opponent plays. Um, but my goal is to capitalize off him not trying to make predictions this early. You just, like, live on the edge, good sir. Like, <laughs> I really don't understand why you'd stay in versus... Okay, well, like, he, he was probably predicting me to double. So, good play on his part. We'll go ahead and mark that as a good play. Um... Even though it could kind of be perceived both ways. Um, and this is one reason I kind of want to run HP Fire Lottie. Is just because it breaks through uh, Pharaoh a lot easier. Although it does suck losing speed ties to other base 110s. Um, so just stuff like Mega Gallade, Mega Metagross. Because um, it's nice to just get chip damage on those things. Man, if Latios got Focus Blast, that would be insane. Like... Because right now, like, Latios gets pretty hard-walled by most Steel types unless you're running HP Fire, and the speed drop sucks, but, um, you know, if you could indeed just run Focus Blast, that'd be beautiful, because, like, Dragon Psychic Fighting coverage is great. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna, gonna go ahead and put the timer on him right here. Um, I'm assuming we'll see a switch into Mens right here, or Zard. Um, to be honest though, Thunderous threatens a large majority of his team, and I can use Thunderous to break a lot of the stuff on his team, and weaken it for Drill late game. Um, regardless though, uh, can this guy make his move, like, for real? <laughs> it's been a solid 30 seconds of me just sitting here talking. But, like, can we talk about how built Thunderous is for a second? Like, we can't see Thunderous in the back sprite, but we can hop into the team builder here real quick, because I already have, like... All my, all my uh, LBA teams nicknamed. Like I, I like this team here. Versus Litleo, sub to Geo, sub to Geo, sub to Geo, sub to. You, you get the point. Anyway, um, look at Thunderous though. Thunderous, my man Thunderous is built. Like, I, I really don't understand how if you're like a cloud genie, you go about lifting weights because, um. Like, you, you know, like, you're trying to float up there in the air lifting weights, but it's like you're also sitting on top of a cloud. So if you're that built, and you're, like, lifting, like, 60-pound weights, how does, like, how do you not just, like, fall through the cloud? That, like, that, that's what... Come on, Game Freak. Get it together, man. Um, yeah. So, Thunderous is pretty much on roids. Um, this guy still hasn't made his move, and I've already found a way to try to kill a little bit of time. He does make his move now. That did 84%. That's a shame. Uh, so he goes for the, the, the dim seeds. Um, so right here, I think I'm pretty safe to just go straight out into Excadrill. Or should I just stay in? I'm going to switch out into Excadrill right here just because Excadrill does threaten a lot of his team. Um, I could go back into Keldeo if I really wanted to. I should probably do that. Although Showdown is not going to let me, is it? There's Drill. As he ends up going straight out into Mence right here. I'm going to go ahead and scout for uh, Fire Blast and go out into Keldeo. Um, 
just because I can hit him with a Specs Icy Wind right here, which will be very nice. And I could just freely spam Icy Wind if I want to. It's not going to do a whole lot to anything on his team other than Mets, um, but it's pretty great to have that uh, speed drop on a lot of things, especially when the other team doesn't have a Bi Sharp, because um, Bi Sharp is just a general annoyance um, if you're running like stuff like Shadow Ball, because you always kind of have to be careful. Um, but he, yeah, there's the Fire Blast right there. Uh, and and so it begins uh, right here I'm clicking scald um, I don't think he's staying in to be honest uh, he looks like he's scarf mints and which ma which actually makes it a lot easier for me because um, in the sand I should be able to live a fire blast uh, from this mints if it isn't invested that much uh, he goes into a zoom right here if I can get this burn chain if I, please I need like I actually need the revenge burn at this point I'm clicking scald again because I absolutely need it um, if he's belly drum, I can't afford to, I, like, I don't think based off that damage that he is belly drum, but then again, I don't really have a whole lot of switch-ins in his room roll other than uh, Metagross, but I don't really want to take a knockoff this early in the game. So, you know how that goes. <laughs> um, so I scald to get burn. Burn! <laughs> a homie fem can get a fire blast burn, but I can't get a scald burn, okay. Um, right here, though, I think I'm gonna go out into my Latios and just click Psy Shock. um, because it should do a nice chunk to whatever he brings out. And if he goes out in a drill, I can just surf it. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, Ferrothorn, I think, is in range of Psyshock plus Draco. Um, as long as he's not, like, max Spadef. So, and Azumarill should die to this. It does, like, 60-some percent, I think. If this doesn't die, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. <laughs> um, but I do need Azumarill gone. And Latios isn't, like isn't super great versus his team it outspeeds a lot of stuff but um it's pretty much shut down by scarf mints yeah he goes into pharaoh right here which is fine that did 18 percent, meaning i will have to go ahead and drop this draco real quick um watch me miss draco it, it's been one of those days uh it's 4 p.m and i've only been up for like five hours um today's gone by fast holy crap um <laughs> but you know This is absolute garbage. <laughs> like, this is actually garbage. I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, win in this environment. I actually do not understand. <sighs> this is so lame, man. This is so lame. Um, he's just gonna be able to knock me out the object. But it was no use saving a 14% lot of years. Um, I'm gonna go into Thunderous right here, and I'm clicking T-Bolt. I have no reason not to, uh, and, uh, like, unless I get rid of this Azumarill, I cannot win, but at plus two drill should be able to sweep this team if I can get it in on Ferrothorn. Um, so I think the way I'm going to get it in on Ferrothorn is hopefully a weaken something to the point where, um, I can kill it with Tyranitar, let, let some, let Ferrothorn come in versus Tyranitar maybe, or just, like, kill myself off with, um, Iron Barbs. And then uh, get up an SD, um, which would be amazing. And then just d run through his team. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate he had to get that Fire Blast burn because it definitely influenced me to sack Keldeo. Uh, he goes down to Pharaoh right here, which is fine. And Pharaoh isn't going to go down to one T-Bolt, but it is going to go down to two. I don't have any reason not to click it right here. Um, I don't want him making like a cheeky double or whatever. Um, but now this actually frees up... Um, Metagross a lot to sweep if I if that's the route that I do want to take. Now that I'm thinking about it, Metagross, uh, Metagross and uh, Cherry Berry Gyarados would be a pretty cool core, just because it can get rid of Steel types for it. That may be something I add to this team. I could replace Specs Keld if I really wanted to, um, but you know Keldeo is kind of nice. Uh, to be honest, just because it helps me break down stuff like Stallbreaker Mew, uh, which Gyarados can't do. Um, so looking at the rest of his team, I think his only play, um, he goes into Mance, which is fine. Um, I'm going to T-Wave this, just because it makes it a lot easier to deal with. And um, if, he, if I get the Paraful Para, I'm not even going to be mad. Um, to be honest, I feel like I kind of deserve a Paraful Para. Um, then I pick up an extra kill with Thunderous. I may actually go for the T-Bolt that happens. Although, to be honest, he has no reason to try to make that double because Mance is good as gone. 
is as good as gone once it gets T Wave. Um, I also don't see him doubling right here just because, uh, yeah, so para, full para, full para, full. Nice! Um, go ahead and complain in the chat. I dare you. I've missed a Draco and you burned me with Fire Blast. <laughs> yeah, I'm clicking HP Ice right here. There was no reason for me not to. Um, and then I can T Wave whatever else comes in right here. Uh, if he goes into Zard, even if he turns out to be Zard Y, I'm T-Waving because it is my best play. Um, it stops me from, the, like, because I don't know if he's Zard Y or Zard X. He goes into a Zoomer right here. I'm clicking T-Wave um, just because it makes it that much harder for him. <laughs> so generally, anything that makes it harder for him is better. Uh, he Aqua Jets me right there. Crit clearly mattered. Um, I'm going to go out into Metagross right here. And uh, I think at this point, as long as I can get rid of this Azumarill right here, um, I'm I'm home free. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve right here and go straight away for the Meteor Mash. Uh, just because Tough Claw's boosted Meteor Mash should kill him from this range. And um, if not, hopefully I, I sneak an Attack Raise in here and, can then, and, and then can continue to run through his team that way. Because uh, Metagross could clean in this situation. Watch me miss. Okay, I hit. That did... Oh my god, calm down. Okay, so I'm gonna Zen Headbutt right here. And as long as I hit, this game should be over. That's a big if. Got him. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Uh, do I have EQ on this? I can't actually remember. Um, I know I have Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Grass Knot. Uh, what else do I have on this? EQ? I have EQ, right? Nice. Generally, Hammer Arm is preferred because it gets the Tough Claws boost, and it actually does make it a lot stronger, but... Um, you know, at this point, I don't really think... Like, uh, for this team, I think EQ is a lot better. Um, I'm gonna click EQ again, right here. Um, is he, like, AV or something? I, he could be AV. I don't see him running double Scarf. Maybe he just was never Scarf Mance. Although, because he had Fire Blast and he didn't take Life Orb Recoil, I'm, and he wasn't Yachi, I'm willing to assume he was uh, Scarf Mance. And uh, he wasn't Scarf Drill, he just ends up forfeiting right there. So look at that, standard sand offense is 2-0 this week. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Um, let's see, uh, what are your guys' thoughts on Mega Metagross? There have been recent outcries for it to be banned after uh, the meta has kind of settled a little bit, after Greninja's ban. Um... So, what, what do you guys think about it? I, I personally think Metagross. Like, I, I would not be opposed to suspecting Metagross. So. Um, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.